Welcome back students. Today I am going to explain about the ethics and safety measures in computing part 2. Today I will explain about the ethics, computer ethics and plagiarism. First you understand about the <coughs> computer or computing ethics. Computer ethics, computing ethics means or simply ethics means moral values which decide the right and wrong that means if you are working in your computer then the things that you are doing in your computer is right or wrong which comes under the ethics so safety measures we always need to be followed strictly while working on a computer as it helps to keep our stored data and information safe. Other term plagiarism is the act or simply you can say plagiarism is a crime. It is the act of taking another person's work or data or information and showing it off as your own. So this is all about the plagiarism and computing ethics. So let's see what are the rules of computing ethics and the Computer Ethical Institute has proposed 10 ethical practices that are <clears throat> we should not use internet to harm others. We should not expose or disturb the other private data. We should not investigate other users file. We should not steal other information. We should not use computer for illegal deeds. Deeds means illegal work, illegal tasks. <clears throat> we should not use pirated software, we should not misuse any sensitive data, we should not violate copyright law, we should not, we should have a special responsibility when writing and designing a program, we should use both internet and computer that does not violate respect towards mankind. So these are the 10 terms that always we should keep in mind while working in a computer internet. Next, I am going to explain a very important topic, plagiarism. The word plagiarism is derived from the Latin word plagiarism, which denotes kidnapper. I told you in the beginning that plagiarism means crime. <coughs> In simple language, I am going to explain you what is plagiarism. Plagiarism is the act of taking data or information from another writer's work and using them in your own work. Means someone else has write any and give any theory and you are using that theory or any you are using uh, data and information of others writer in your work without citing the source or without acknowledging the person who has made this. It's a very serious offense. To understand the plagiarism, let's see one example. Here, suppose Karan, a writer, given a theory has given a theory on solar eclipse and updated in internet through a post on this particular date. Now, <coughs> Karan is the original writer and this one is the original source. This website, suppose this is in a particular website, this is the original source. What I have done, I have used this theory in my own website without acknowledging the current or this particular website. So this is what, just I copied the data from here 
and paste i have paste in my website so this is what this is a crime and this is comes under the plagiarism if it will be legal when you will write here reference like reference karan if you write this like reference karan it means it's become the genuine you have given the reference code that you copied this from karan or the original writer and you have taken the permission from the original writer so this is this not comes under the plagiarism but without the knowledge of karan or the original writer you are copying the data and information into your file and you are showing it off as your own so this is what this is the plagiarism now in academia and industry plagiarism is considered as a serious ethical offense it is not defined or punished by the law but it is considered as serious issue by professional association educational institution and industries like publishing companies and journalist circles so it's a offense it's, it's not a uh, defined or punished by law but you should not do this we should not do like this because it's not comes under the computer ethics plagiarism by a student professor and researcher is considered as the academic fraud or academic dishonesty sometime the offenders like me i have i am a, an offender here yeah, because i have just copied this and i pasted this in my own work offender will be expelled nowadays many universities and institution use plag uh, plagiarism uh, detection software to detect a students from plagiarizing or to deter a students from plagiarizing <clears throat> a special uh, awareness workshop are conducted for the students to reveal the plagiarism is wrong and many more actions has been taken by the student but a student also use the use their mind and uh, uh, practice to use the substitution of the words <laughs> <laughs> and use the other theories like i have used some substitution for moon i have taken some substitution some i have taken substitution and i i wrote the same theory here this is called uh, rock thing okay so uh, these type of things are always executed and runs in the field of computer or internet okay students i hope you understood about this particular uh plagiarism